The Socialist Republic of Vietnam gave an honorable welcome to envoys of President Nicolas Maduro, with whom local authorities held various official acts to reinforce bilateral relations. The host of the delegation was led by Permanent Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam, who expressed their satisfaction with this visit and highlighted how closely Vietnam observes Venezuela's many victories. Vietnamese authorities also offered to share their experiences in developing an economy under constant imperialist attack. For his part, Diastado Cabello agreed in expanding integration. We have held talks to bolster our alliance. We spoke about the need for integration, not just of our peoples, but also of our parties and our governments. This is what President Maduro asked of us. The Venezuelan delegation visited numerous plantations to better understand how Vietnam has developed its food production system and to hasten cooperation agreements in agro-industrial technology. We must highlight that Venezuela has signed agreements with our Vietnamese brothers and sisters so they can help us develop a new type of rice seed that we can grow in Venezuela in order to provide for our people. One of the reasons for our visit is to reforge our alliance and promote these projects in the areas of food production we are well aware that Vietnam started from zero, and from nothing they managed to grow their industries and develop their agriculture, and they have done this in a highly organized manner. In another activity, the Venezuelan delegation was welcomed by Gwen Beto Thayo, the deputy director of the National Academy of Public Administration. Here, authorities agreed to establish an exchange program to further their political relationship and educate citizens on the reality of both nations. The fruitful visit is another step to creating a multipolar world where people are not forced to bow down to imperialist interests.